There's so many levels to how we capture our images, from the cameras that we use, right down to the screens that they're rendered for. And all the while, there's this invisible tech that's hidden within our cameras, working hard behind the scenes to help us achieve the images we desire. Things like autofocus, electronic communication between the lens and the camera body, face tracking, color science. I mean, there's a lot of heady stuff that happens after you hit the shutter or press that record button. But another part of that creative process of capture is tactile and using our own bare hands. Whether it's using a gimbal, a shoulder rig, gorilla pod, or any other kind of setup that we wrap our hands around, at the end of the day, we hold our cameras, we touch them, feel them physically, and make movements that bring about emotion to help us move our stories forward. Vehicles for our cameras, if you will. Without movement, we're static, stuck in one place. And when we vlog, we're taking you on a journey with us. We bring you along for the ride. So here are my three vlogging rig setups that I constantly float between. The cage. I love the cage. I initially did not get this for vlogging purposes. I got this cage because I wanted to put an articulating arm on it, rig it up so I could have an external monitor, that sort of thing. There's all these quarter 20 points everywhere. It fits really, really snug. It's designed for the 6300, does fit the 6500, but you lose your C1 and your C2 and your ability to kind of change the battery, which is kind of a bummer. But, you know, like anything, nothing's perfect and we just kind of roll with the punches, I guess. Second thing I really, really like about this is it provides an element of safety, obviously. It's in a cage, so if it drops, it's gonna be secure. Third thing I like about this cage is that it adds some stability with this handle here. So you're gonna be able to get smoother shots, more stability because you've got more weight on the camera. It's just badass looking. Oh, another thing about this cage that I really, really, really like. You don't have to commit to being the vlogger with the gorilla pod or with any of that sort of big clumpy gear. You can just discreetly bring this out with you, put it in your bag, and if you do need to vlog or you do want to kind of point the camera on yourself, it's very, very versatile in that sense. And it's really ergonomically sound. It feels awesome in my hands. So, love this cage. Obviously, I love to use the gimbal and I use it a lot. It's great for getting a multitude of cinematic shots. You can get dolly shots, slider shots, crane shots, you name it. The sky's the limit with the gimbal. I use the Gion crane. Very simple to balance, very simple to change out lenses on the fly. It's really got a good build quality and I think it's worth every penny. Having said that, there are a few downsides to it. When you're vlogging and you're trying to bring this thing around with you, you kind of have to like, okay, turn it off. And then when you turn it off, you kind of have to like carry it around. Obviously it takes batteries, there's motors, it's sensitive, you don't want to get it wet, you don't want to drop it or anything kind of silly like that. And you have to calibrate it and all that sort of thing. But when it comes to just pure magic of shots, this will get you what you want. Audio can be a little bit of an issue with it, but I found that if I put a little bit of the dead cat kind of fur on the mic inputs on the camera and do a little bit of playing in post with compression and EQ, I get usable audio. Not great. Another thing I wanna talk about is the audio that I use. I use the Video Mic Mini by Rode, and I can't show you that right now because it's I'm using it for the audio for this video right now. But anyways, it's really cheap. It doesn't require batteries. It doesn't require a preamp. It's a shotgun mic, and it gives you amazing quality for the price. So, gimbal, love it. Few things that aren't so good about the gimbal, like I said, it's kind of cumbersome and you have to be careful with it. And it's not as fast as kind of going handheld or grabbing the Gorilla Pod. With that being said, it's an amazing investment and I highly recommend using a gimbal. And number three, the Joby Gorilla Pod. Let's not forget about that. Probably the most popular piece of vlogging gear that anybody has ever seen. This just says Casey Neistat. I might as well just say Casey Neistat. You know what I do like about it? I like the fact that I can kind of carry it around like this. I can put it in the back of my car. With the gimbal, you have to be so careful and put it away kind of delicately. And when you're going handheld with the cage, you're kind of limited in terms of being able to get your shot level, put it on a tripod. This, obviously, you guys have all seen this. I don't really have to explain it too much. I'm just kind of going through my tools here, what I use. 
but I do use this considerably more than I use the gimbal, believe it or not. Just because I can throw it in the back of my truck, I can grab it whenever I need to get a shot. Another thing I really like about it too is the fact that you can get this for, I've used this for overhead shots. And if you're gonna spend the money on a Gorillapod, I would buy the heavy duty one. I have one of the gray and black ones around somewhere. It broke within a month. Um, the heavy duty one is worth the money. I think it's about 80 bucks. I know it's expensive, but you know, when you're really into something and you have a hobby or an interest or you wanna turn your hobby or craft into a living, you have to make the investment. It's better than buying chips and Diet Cokes. So there you have it. My three vlogging rig setups that I use all the time. Um, I just love making these videos and I really dig making montages and I'm just like so into it all. And um, with that being said, I hope you got some value. I will see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you on the next one.